Hi YouTube, Stephanie Lee here and today I'm going to show you how I deep condition and wash my hair. So um, this is actually the second time that I've washed my Japanese hair straightened hair and I actually have a little bit of product left from last time so I'm not going to waste it obviously. So first I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this mixture, not a whole lot. Probably going to add about, about that much water. And I don't measure anything, so this is just gonna just gonna have to show you what I do. I'm gonna add some honey. Cat's broken. That's probably good right there. And honey is actually a good humectant. And some tea tree oil. I probably should get a dropper. That's good. Um, probably about 10 drops. I'm not really sure how much that was. And some lavender essential oil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 drops. Some peppermint essential oil. Again, 10 drops. And the peppermint oil is actually really good for dandruff, which unfortunately I fight with. And next I'm going to add some castor oil. That is good for hair growth. I know there's a lot of stuff that's going to go in here and I actually forgot to grab the aloe vera juice. The next thing is going to be goat milk. And this is really moisturizing for your hair. Makes your hair feel really sleek and smooth. Let me see if I can do this without a funnel. Because I didn't grab the funnel. And that's good right there because there's already some in there. And since I don't have the aloe vera juice, the last thing I'm going to put in here is going to be some coconut oil. I'm not too worried about it not being melted. There's enough in here that's actually melted for me to be able to use it. And I try not to make too much of this at once because I really don't want to have anything left over. I mean it's okay for it to sit in the fridge for a week but if I can use it all at once I will. I normally add just a little bit of conditioner to it and it sounds like I'm probably going to have to because it's really thin and watery. Oop. So I'm actually going to add some of my Palmer's coconut oil conditioner to the ball. I mean it's okay if it's watery. I mean it still does the same thing. It's just easier when you don't have your conditioner running everywhere. And let's mix that back up. It's still too watery, but that's okay. We'll make it. Okay, so now that that has been mixed up, I'm going to section my hair into four sections. I normally do one here, one here, and two in the back. And I don't try and get anything even at all. Just want to get the hair out of the way. And I'm actually going to be using a Revive clip. I'm not really sure how I feel about those yet. I found them in TJ Maxx. They were like $4. They're okay. But they're not my favorite. And 
the last section. And this is how you should somewhat look. Now I always start in the back. And I'm just going to take, let me move this clip out of the way. I don't evenly part, I just grab a section and go. So I'm going to twist that back up and pin that out of the way. So it's like this. And I'm just going to take the bottle and just pour at the roots and make sure that I get it down the hair shaft. You can always pour some in your hands and do the same thing. Basically, you just want to make sure that you get all of your hair coated with the deep conditioner mix. I really probably should measure so that my mixture is not so runny. I told myself the last time I did this that I was going to measure it out. You see, I didn't do it. I did it. Oh well. And on we're going to go. You really can't tell that it's in there, but I promise my hair is wet. The deep conditioner will still work. Take out that last clip. And just work it through. Real easy. And I'm just kind of taking my fingers and just kind of massaging the scalp just a little bit just to make sure that I get it on all of my hair. So I'm going to do that to the other three sections and then I will come back. All right, everyone, I'm back. The conditioner mix is now in my hair completely. I did decide to go ahead and go back and get the aloe vera juice. It is organic Lakewood pure aloe vera juice. And I added just a little bit to that mixture. I mean, it's already runny, so I may decide in the future to use less water and more aloe vera juice. This um, is really good at helping with dandruff as well as moisture. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use the plastic baggie. And I'm going to take a turby towel. Don't laugh at my turby towel, guys. It's been through some things. Take a turby towel. And you're going to wet it down with water. And you want it to be damp, um, not dripping wet. Think like when you take your clothes out of the washing machine. You want it to be damp like that, but not dripping down on your neck. And I'm just going to cover my hair. Twist, 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 flip that back. And I'm gonna go sit under a hooded dryer for about 30 minutes and let all of this settle. And then I'll be back. Okay, so I am finished deep conditioning now. It's time to take this off. And take off my plastic baggie. And unfortunately, everything is dripping. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out first. This one. The next step is going to be to massage this through. I bought like a little massaging brush. You can usually find these at Sally's, but I actually found this one 
from Walmart. And while I'm in the shower, I'm just going to take this and just lightly go through my scalp. That's going to help lift up any dirt and dandruff, and it's also going to stimulate my scalp and give me a nice little massage while I'm in there. And I'm going to wash with Palmer's Coconut Oil Shampoo. And follow up with another conditioner. And then after that, it will be time to blow dry and flat iron. I'll be back. Okay, so I am actually done washing and conditioning once again. And I usually will plop my hair in a t-shirt, usually for about the how long ever however long it takes for me to get ready and put on whatever I'm gonna put on for the day or for the night. It is nighttime, so I'm actually in my pajamas right now. So this is actually the end of my washing process. And I'm going to take this off so you can see what my hair looks like. And this is what it looks like after it's been washed and conditioned. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if I'm in the frame. So if you have any questions about what I've done or the products that I've used, leave me a comment below and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.